Hi, so you're watching Dead Press, we're in Manchester. I'm speaking with uh, Corrine and Cambria. Travis. Um, Travis from Corrine and Cambria. Um, how you doing? Good. Yeah. Happy to be here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Very happy to be here. We've had a really good run uh, doing some shows in Germany, doing a show in Paris. Um, it's been it's been a really, really successful run in the sense of how the shows have gone and, yeah. and everything like that. So yeah. had a good time. So this is your second day in the UK, isn't it? You've been to Europe just before. Yeah. yeah. We did yeah. Spain as well. Oh. Was excellent. Yeah. Cool. Do you have any highlights from the tour so far, or? Um, yeah, there's been there's been a couple of like highlight shows for me. I mean, Cologne was one of my favorites. He had a great show in Munich, so they've been uh, they've been fun. Sweet. Um, and how was the you know the music going down with the fans? The new album. So. That's over here. We've had a, you know we haven't done the full big U.S. tour yet, but mm -hmm. this Europe run. Yeah. You know, it's just a. Uh, it's kind of surprising in a way. You always hope that you'll go out and people will be as, as uh, you know, responsive as possible and, yeah. and get involved. But I mean, it's been beyond our expectations, so yeah. it's been cool. And how are you in terms of not just live as well, but the album itself? It came out in October. Mm -hmm. um, how's it been perceived? I mean, from your it's been perceived very well. I mean, I think that you know, for some fans that were really major fans of Koei, not having the concept involved, yeah. Um, not threw them off, but it was different. And it's also, you know, every Cody record is a completely different record. So I think that um, once people got used to the differences that this album contains, they realized how, how, how great of a record it is. And it's gotten a very positive response in that way, yeah. you know? But it's like with every Coheed record, I mean, there's people that will want like a, an album that contains more like seven minute songs or something like that, or a little bit more off kilter, like, um, time signature kind of stuff and you know that's there on this record but I mean I think because some of it's a little bit more straightforward yeah. which you know, straightforward gives it a negative connotation it's, it's just a little bit more naked it's more to the yeah. point we recorded it live we did it you know so yeah we did it very very uh what would be the West way but organically yes yeah. so. I mean the fact that there's no concepts this time around yeah which uh, is the first time for you guys mm -hmm. um, did that kind of affect how the record came together in terms of I don't think that it affected how it came together musically uh, in the sense of dictating any like musical notes or things that, you know, I think that it's more or less from Claudio's standpoint of the things he was going on, had going on in his life, it made him more comfortable to mm -hmm. actually not, he always writes about his real life, the lyrics are always telling things about himself, but to not have the concept involved and just kind of speak like I said before, just be a little bit more um, exposed in a yeah. way, yeah. as opposed to being behind a concept, and, and that was really his decision. Yeah. But we were all fully supportive of it, and so it's not like the band ever feels restricted. You know, the concept's not over. You know, it's like we just wanted to do this record this way, and where everything's always different each record for us. So yeah. it was just seemed like something really cool to explore, and then um, yeah, from here on out we figure out where we go. But. Yeah. Uh, for now, it's touring on this record, so couldn't yeah. be more happy to do that. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you, so did it feel like have more freedom in terms of creating the record? Then there's more, there's less barriers, I suppose. No, no, because the concept never gave that. I mean, if anything, like sometimes when there's like a conceptual kind of thing, uh, you know, where Claudio will have an idea of where something's, which it's not. You know, usually the concept part comes after. Yeah. You know, the songs or, or the parts and. But I mean, sometimes you'll have an idea of, well, at this point, you know, in this uh, song or in this record, this is going to be happening. And it almost gives it more freedom, like to make it more cinematic. And, yeah. you know, so there's no ever restriction whether the concept's there or not. You know, I would say on this record, because it was so personal for Claudio, there was a little bit more, um, there was a little bit more of him hearing things that he wanted in each song, yeah. you know? Not that that doesn't happen on you know other albums. Of course it does, because you know everybody has, you know, when you're in a band, there's a main person who's like a you know visionary and being the singer and, and just like that's usually what happens. But on this record in particular, um, there was a little bit more on certain songs where he kind of felt like you know he knew what he wanted. Mm -hmm. um, but then once you kind of get used to that vibe, specifically for me and guitar, I could. I could just explore after that, like once I knew what the vibe was on those certain songs. Yeah. And some songs were just the old school. I mean, one of the most endearing things about it is the song Atlas, you know, about his son was 
very old school, like Coed. He had, you know, the song that you see online a year ago or however long it is that he just plays acoustic. Yeah, is what he had, and then everybody else just added their stuff to that, and that's very organic. And yeah. we recorded it live, and you know, and it's quite endearing because it's for his son, you know, very old school way of doing Coed songs. So I just say, obviously, a bit more exposed. It's it's very personal, and obviously, being about Claudio's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, in terms of the concept. No, but I'm saying it is more exposed and it's like that, but I mean, everybody added, it's like almost everybody added a little bit of their own touch to, yeah. the, to the painting, you know, yeah. of, of for his son. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so that makes, you know, me happy because we're very close. Yeah. You know, I, it turns out all right, even better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I mean, in terms of the concept, you, you mentioned um, you don't know obviously what's going on, so. I mean, will the concept come back in future records? Do you think they'll do something like this again? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think the concept is going anywhere. I think that we just wanted to do this now, so. Yeah, cool. You know, I think that there are so many avenues that the concept could go. Yeah, so. I mean, in terms of still keeping with, obviously, the Army Wars concept, mm -hmm. um, I mean, we did have reach out for a few fans to give us kind of questions they wanted us to ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, and they wanted to know, I mean, there was talks a few years ago, I think, about maybe an Army Wars movie, movie yeah. or animated Or TV series, show or like series. That. It's still there, man. It's just nothing's really come to fruition. Nothing's, you know, happened. I mean, that's the way it is in that world. Um, I wouldn't say that it's like over and that it's not going to happen. I mean, I, I think everybody keeps faith. You know, it's still talked about all the time. It's a story that will continue on. Yeah. So, you know, I think that there's a lot of qualities about it that is, if somebody could just you know, understand it a little bit more, um, they would get behind it. But I mean, yeah. there's more enough time for that to happen. Yeah, it's got potential. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's great. So there's nothing solidified. It's just in in kind of talks. Yeah, it's just yeah. still in talks. Yeah. Just still trying to figure that out. Cool. And obviously, you're halfway through the UK, but obviously it's only the three dates. Yeah, um, but we'll be back. Yeah, I was going to say you're back late this year. You got festivals. I would, we would love to be. I mean, it's all about booking everything, and we're trying to figure out what we can get on. Yeah, you know, but we want to. So so nothing even secretly going on. No, no, no. Yeah, I <laughs> wish, man. But we'll see. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we got planned for the year? It's really going to be all about touring. I just don't know exactly where we'll be and when. I mean, I think there's talks of, I mean, we do this full US thing when we get home with Glassjaw, Night the Mighty, and uh, when we do that, and, and also Silver Snakes, and uh, when we do that, we, um, we have like a couple of weeks off, be with our family, um, like we will now. Which I'm, you know, we're all excited about because we're away for a couple of weeks. Even being over here, it's a little bit more distant. Yeah. But uh, we'll do that, and then in April, have a couple of weeks. And I think that there was talk of us going over to like Australia or New Zealand. And I'm hoping that that happens, and and then maybe it'll be about coming back here. Or, you know, the next step, or yeah. uh, I don't know. We'll see. Cool. You know, it's it's tough because you do headlining shows like we're doing headlining shows in the major markets right now in Manchester. Um, you know, if we, we didn't do Brighton this time and we didn't do a couple of other places, but you know, doing these three are pretty much the major markets in the UK. Yeah. And, and so we do those and they're going great. But I mean, you know, the, the next option is to come back either for festivals or come back for, um, you know, a supporting slot or come back and do a completely different set but probably wait a few months, you yeah. know, like that's how it works. I mean, we wouldn't want to come back only like two months from now and play a lot of the same set or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, and even if we came back and played a completely different set, you're still weighing the option of some people being like, we just saw you, you know? And yeah. So it's always tough. You got to figure out the right way to do it. But we believe me, we want to come back. You know? So, cool. Um, cool. Uh, is there any final words before we wrap up that you want to say? If we come back, please come out. <laughs> That's it. But, <laughs> Uh, uh, these are awesome because they're sold out already, yeah. so I can't ask people to come out now, but whoever, who, who haven't bought tickets already, but, you know, now, uh, Just come out again. Yeah. Come out again. Yeah. If you didn't get a ticket this time, we'll come back and get one next time.